Hello and welcome to Culture in the Atlantic. I'm your host, Prophecy, and I'm here with Liz Andretti Arnold. How are you doing, Liz? I'm well today, thank you. And oh. how are you, Mr. Prophecy? Oh, I'm great now that I'm sitting next to a beautiful woman like you. Oh, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, the champagne's working. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, uh, before we get started, uh -huh. a little bit of positivity. We're starting with the usual. Life is like a painting and you're the artist. Never give up on your passion and be sure to inspire even when obstacles are in your way. You can proceed knowing that you will overcome triumphantly. I believe in you, you should too. As we're sitting in the house here, I recognize your passion for photography. Yeah, it was a huge part of my life from the age of 17 years old until I moved here at the age of 23. And I think, although I was very much into the arts before I worked in the photography field, um, the being able to work in a studio professionally, it helped areas of me and one of them being critique, Okay. you know, just, you know, delivering the product, delivering the work mm -hmm. and having to have the strong shoulders of a critique. You learn that in art class, mm -hmm. you know, bringing it out and your peers are, are looking at you and mm -hmm. you could have done this better or, you know, this wasn't. Um, the assignment, but when you're when you're dealing with actual people, yeah. uh, you just have to realize, yeah, maybe maybe it wasn't all that. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm not thinking laughs> you know, you just have, you, yeah, you, know. you 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 bring yourself back, but it it gives you broader shoulders okay. to be able to withstand whatever else may come. Say you have a an art show and you didn't sell anything at all, mm -hmm. or you put something out there and nowadays with Instagram, you didn't get any likes at all. Well, <laughs> I guess you could say like, in some, to sum it up, you develop a thick skin. You develop thick that, skin, okay. yeah, right. to, in being in that field. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and you can ask any um, uh, photographer, uh, wedding photographer, <laughs> yeah, you mm -hmm. develop some very thick skin. So Liz, you are a mixed media artist. Now. Yes. For those that are not familiar with that, Please explain to us what a mixed media artist is and what it, what a mixed media artist does. Okay, well, a mixed media artist, what it entails is a few different type of mediums mm -hmm. to create an artwork. Okay. Um, and for me, it, it goes back in the beginning um, in my roots of, of photography that sort of evolved um, back into painting. Um, because prior to my roots in photography, I always, you know, painted. I studied painting in high school and junior college, and then I fell into photography. Um, and then getting back into my art about seven years ago, I would incorporate my photography mm -hmm. with painting. So that was just fusing two types of mediums okay, and okay. then a little bit of digital processing. Okay. So that's where I came up with the name Mixed Media Liz. So you've been established here in Bermuda since 93. Since 93. When I arrived on the island, uh -huh. I kept my foot in the door with photography. Okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I I was photographing wedding photography, mm -hmm. portraiture, wow. the family portraitures and um yeah. Okay. Well, you know, you've done art shows. Mm -hmm. um, you've painted murals. Mm -hmm. You've got a list of accomplishments. Mm -hmm. So what walk us through what made you say this is the life of me? This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Well, it's not something that is said. It's just yes. something that's known. And I think you hear that from um, many artists or many creatives. They just have it in them. There's a yearning. There's something else that they know. Uh, that they 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 feel they need to do or their contribution to to society and to the world. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I can relate to that. Now, I noticed that you play music while you're painting. Yes, music is a huge influence for my a mood, inspirations, colors, yeah. line work. So, pretty much, it answers the question. It's definitely like what um sets the mood for your creative. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, for the art you create. If mm -hmm. you could sum it up in one word, one word, what would it be? One word would be whimsical. Whimsical. I would say, I don't know if others may portray it that way, but for me, I try to keep the fun in it, no matter if it's maybe a serious face or a serious mood mm -hmm. uh, about the, the, you know, whatever subject I'm approaching, mm -hmm. I still you know, want to keep it fun and whimsical. Okay, that's great. Last year, you had your first show here in Bermuda. My first solo show. First solo yes. show. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're not new to that. You, you've done them in Texas before. 
Well, I did them in Texas. Yeah, this was my first solo show here. So going into it, I I, I was terribly excited for sure. Mm-hmm. But um, I also, you know, something inside of me, it just felt like, you know this. Okay. You, you've been here before. Okay, well, walk us through the process. Like, how do you prepare for something big like that? Because this is your baby. It took me a year to prepare for that. Okay. Yeah, okay. it did. Wow. It took me an entire year from the time I thought of the concept mm-hmm. and where I wanted to to go with it um, and what I wanted, um, you know, my audience to take from it Mm -hmm. and, you know, where I was going from there. Well, we look forward to more from you, Mm -hmm. you know, our camera ladies, they are fans and supporters of you, Mm -hmm. obviously, and I've been converted. Oh, thank you. (laughs) I've definitely been converted. (laughs) So I'm a fan now. Thank you. You know what I mean? So for anybody that's watching this that gets interested, what can we look forward to next? Well, what we can look forward to next for me will probably be more figurative, female, whimsical mm-hmm. art. Oh. Just fun and colorful.